Hey everyone, today, we're diving into one of the deepest mysteries of existence, consciousness. Have you ever wondered why your awareness is here, while mine is over there? Why is the universe divided for each of us into a subject, you, and a seemingly infinite number of objects? Why are some things, like humans, conscious, while others, like rocks or sand, apparently aren't? What about animals like rats, gnats, or even bacteria, are they conscious too? These are all parts of the ancient and unsolved mind-body problem, but it's now being called the hard problem of consciousness. Today, we'll explore a resonance theory of consciousness that could help us understand not only human awareness but the consciousness present throughout the universe. Let's get into it. Welcome to Trend Storm. Chapter 1. The Hard Problem of Consciousness. The mind-body problem has puzzled philosophers and scientists for thousands of years. Essentially, it asks, what's the relationship between the mind and the physical world? Why do we experience anything at all? Philosopher David Chalmers coined the term the hard problem of consciousness in 1996. His point? Figuring out how neurons in the brain work is challenging, but it's still easier than understanding how consciousness arises from matter. How can something physical, like the brain, produce something as non-physical as awareness? In recent years, a new approach to this mystery has emerged called the resonance theory of consciousness. Developed by scientists like Jonathan Schooler at UC Santa Barbara, this theory suggests that consciousness is linked to the concept of resonance, or, in simpler terms, synchronized vibrations. Chapter 2. It's all about vibrations. Now, you might be thinking, vibrations? Really? But stick with me. Everything in the universe is constantly vibrating, from the smallest particles like electrons to larger structures like molecules, animals, and even the Earth itself. Even objects that appear stationary, like rocks, are vibrating at some level. And when things vibrate together, they can often start to sync up in mysterious ways. This phenomenon is called spontaneous self organization. We see this in nature all the time. For example, when fireflies gather in large numbers, they start flashing their lights in sync. Lasers form when photons vibrate at the same frequency. Even the moon's rotation is perfectly synchronized with its orbit around Earth, which is why we always see the same side. So what does this have to do with consciousness? Chapter 3. Sync Inside Your Brain Inside your brain, billions of neurons are firing off signals all the time, creating electrical waves. Neuroscientists have discovered that these waves can sync up in different patterns, which is crucial for different types of consciousness. For example, German neuroscientist Pascal Fries has identified three key brainwave patterns. Gamma waves are linked to activities like perception and meditation. Beta waves are tied to high brain activity, like when you're alert or focused. Theta waves show up during relaxation or daydreaming. When neurons sync up in these wave patterns, it allows for smooth communication between different parts of the brain. This synchronization is essential for producing the conscious experiences we have every day. Chapter 4. Resonance Theory of Consciousness Building on this idea, the resonance theory of consciousness suggests that synchronized vibrations are at the core of all consciousness, not just human or mammalian but throughout the universe. This theory brings together the work of neuroscientists like Fries and expands it to explain how everything from electrons to atoms to living organisms could have some level of awareness. 
At first, this might sound a bit wild, but it's connected to a growing belief in panpsychism, the idea that all matter has some degree of consciousness. According to this view, consciousness didn't suddenly emerge at some point during evolution. Instead, it's been a part of matter from the very beginning. But before you start thinking your phone or a rock is conscious in the way we are, it's important to note that most of this consciousness is very basic. For instance, an electron may have an incredibly tiny amount of awareness, but as matter becomes more complex, like in living organisms, the level of consciousness grows. Chapter 5 Biology and Consciousness In biological organisms, Information flows quickly through biophysical pathways, allowing neurons and other parts of the brain to communicate almost instantly. Non-living objects, like a rock, can't do this. They can only exchange information through much slower processes like heat transfer. That's why living things can have much more complex consciousness than, say, a pile of sand or a boulder. In this theory, the difference between something conscious and something that's not comes down to the resonance and connection between its smaller parts. In a human brain, for example, the resonance between neurons creates a large-scale consciousness. In contrast, something like a rock doesn't have the same interconnectedness or information pathways, so its level of awareness, if any, is extremely basic. Chapter 6 the big picture shared vibrations at its core the resonance theory suggests that shared vibrations whether in our brains in animals or in physical matter determine the level and complexity of consciousness the more parts that are resonating together the more complex the conscious experience so what about larger scale resonance like the fireflies flashing in sync are they sharing some kind of group consciousness? While this self-organization is fascinating, scientists believe it doesn't involve consciousness in the way we think of it. However, when biological systems have the right structures and pathways, resonance can lead to higher level consciousness, like in humans or other mammals. In conclusion, the resonance theory of consciousness offers a fascinating new way to understand not only how human consciousness works but also how awareness might exist throughout the universe. It's all about vibrations, sinking, and shared resonance. By looking at how things in the universe vibrate and connect, we're getting closer to unlocking the mystery of consciousness. Source University of California Santa Barbara so what do you think? Could vibrations hold the key to consciousness? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more mind-blowing insights here on Trendstorm. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.